Hi, I'm Kat Havens, the Assistant Director of Youth Education for the Houston Museum of Natural Science, and today we're going to be talking about the science of food. Cooking, you're a chemist, even if you don't realize it, and today we're going to talk about what's going on with butter. Okay, to make your butter, you're going to need the following items. Some sort of a bowl to make your butter in. I like to use metal, a whisk, some heavy whipping cream, cheesecloth, and some scissors to cut your cheesecloth with. All right, now we're gonna make our butter. It's really, really simple. The first thing you do is get your heavy whipping cream, and you're gonna want to have left this out for it to be room temperature, because we need to get that lactic acid to form in there, because that's gonna help us to make our butter. You're gonna pour that in your bowl. And I'm only gonna pour in about half, because otherwise I'm gonna be whipping an awful long time to try to make butter. Then you're going to take your whisk because you're going to need to really agitate this whipping cream in order to get those fat molecules to beat into each other to form butter. So you're going to start whipping. And it takes a while. As you're whipping the butter, what's happening is those fat uh, globules are bumping into each other and the membrane that surrounds each one is breaking down. And when that happens, they stick together. And that's how you get sort of that clump of butter that you end up with in the end. Butter has a unique taste because we've left this whipping cream to sit out and get it to room temperature. And in doing that, the bacteria has produced something called lactic acid. And lactic acid gives butter its really sort of unique tangy taste that we are so used to. You're going to recognize this, especially those of you who are hot cocoa lovers. What this is whipping cream, and it is the second stage before we get butter. Now, as we continue whipping, we're getting closer and closer to getting our final product. As you get past whipping cream, you're going to pretty soon have your big lump of butter, but you've got to keep going and really build up those muscles, but you can see how it's starting to change. As you continue to beat, you start getting the liquid separating out from the fat globules, and you have your buttermilk and your butter. Now, we're going to get some extra liquid out of our butter and buttermilk solution, so we're going to need to cut ourselves a piece of cheesecloth. So don't be shy. Get yourself a pretty good piece of cheesecloth and open it up. You're going to take your butter and stick it in the cheesecloth and squeeze out that extra liquid. Voila! Your butter. Now that we have butter, we're going to go meet Polo Basara of Polo Signature to see what he can whip up for us using butter. Here in the kitchen with owner Polo and executive chef Adam to see what they're going to cook up for us today using butter. What are you guys going to be cooking up for us using uh, butter what today? What we're going to do today is we have some uh, Hawaiian opa that we got in. We're going to do a canseared Hawaiian opa piccata over some uh, risotto with uh, tomato and basil. Excellent. And how does butter fit into making your recipe? Why is butter important in this process? Because the butter makes it creamy all right, first thing we're going to do is uh, season the, the Hawaiian opa that we have. Okay, put a little flour on it just to give it a little texture on the fish when we sear it. Okay, uh, over here we have a hot skillet. Put a little extra virgin olive oil. Okay, and we're going to drop the fish in. So while that's going, uh, we're going to start it off with our risotto with a little bit of the butter that you guys made. Uh, we're going to add a little bit of tomatoes, a little bit of basil, salt and pepper. And we're going to add the uh, risotto that we have already made. Okay, and then a little chicken stock. Okay, you can kind of see what we're doing with the fish here, how the butter browned it up a little bit. A little more butter for the risotto to make it creamy. Add a little vegetables. Got our vegetables that we cooked with a little bit of butter and uh, garlic. And for the opa. We'll put some uh, her herbs, butter. This is made by uh, tarragon, thyme, and oregano. A pinch of garlic. When you roast the garlic with the uh, herbs, butter, you throw the jumlan crumbing. Some lemon juice. Roast the channel, salt and pepper to taste. And the last minute, tequila patron. Throw the garnish at the top. 
נפיס הלמון? שייפס? דם. מה זה לונש? I want to thank Polo and Adam for making this delicious dish for us. And if you want to learn how to make butter, you can go to our website at hmns.org. And if you want to try this delicious dish, come to Polo's signature. Thank you. Thank you very much.